Ah. Another fish on, another fish on, holy cow. Got a fish in the front, and another fish just swam this back rod right here. Wow, this is fishing. Got him on the scale. Still going nine. That's fishing, man. Gotta love it. Fish on, fish on. Holy cow. Yeah, this is the fish we've been looking for right here. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. All right, fish in the boat. Almost. Now. Hey everybody, Intense Angler here. Uh, I'm out on the river today and uh, I'm doing a little bit of fishing. And uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about uh, some early season cat fishing how to locate and catch yourself some uh, decent fish like this guy just got him in the boat and uh, i'm going to slide him back in the water here but uh yeah we'll get to talking about that and i'll show you show you how we catch these bad boys there we go. you can go on home tell the rest we're coming Okay, so I guess we'll start by uh, talking location here. Uh, what we're, well, I guess we'll start by talking species first, huh? We're after uh, channel cats, first of all. And uh, I'm just down here on a local river. It's the Snake River here in Idaho. And uh, it is uh, late March. The water's still pretty cold. Like I said, it's uh, running uh, about 47 right now. So what I'm doing, uh, the way I concentrate on finding these guys, um, at this part of the season. Like I said, it's just getting started. You can catch these guys all, all winter long. A lot of people think that they, uh, you know, go into dormancy, can't catch them at all, but that's, that's just not the case. Uh, we've caught them all throughout the year, November, December, January, um, you know, two feet of snow in the middle of the uh, snowstorms, um, and catch them. It's just not that fast of action. You know, you'll be lucky to pull uh, pull a couple, a few, unless you get into a wintering hole and then you could do a little bit better, but it's just not fast action. And, uh, I don't know about you, but I like fast action. So this is one of my favorite times of year. They're just starting to move and not a lot of people, um, still think, they still think it's a little bit too early for this, but it's not. This is my, one of my favorite times of year by far. Uh, we haven't got hit by the strong runoff yet in the rivers. Um, uh, the water is still cold, but it's warmed up just enough to to get these guys wanting to you know get food and uh, they'll start spawning in around uh, May or June up here and so they need um, you know they need a couple months to pack on some uh, pounds pack on some energy to get ready for that uh, spawn which lasts uh, quite a while so uh, anyway the point of this all is that uh, they're feeding right now so it's good action if you know where to look and that's the key component of this because the water is, is so cold. And uh, so what I'm doing is I have my main river out there. It's the Snake River. It's a pretty good sized river. It's got a decent current running in it right now. And these fish, they're not, uh, they're not wanting that heavy current right now. You know, they're still, uh, the water's still a little bit too cold and their metabolism is uh, still pretty slow. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for warmer areas and uh, areas of a little bit less current. I want some current, but not too much current. And uh, so what I'm doing today is I'll, I'll typically look for a backwater, you know, maybe a slough if it has some water running in it, or preferably a tributary. And that's what I'm doing today is I'm hitting a tributary. It's a smaller river, probably about a quarter of the size of the snake. And uh, um, so what I'm doing is heading up in there. Um, I, I fish typically the bottom mile of that before it dumps in, uh, dumps back into the main river uh, because they tend to just kind of congregate up in that mouth. They're not really, um, sorry for the wind here, they're not really running up into these tributaries too far yet like they will when they make their spawning moves. And so um, you know, they'll start stacking up though in these tributaries and so that's been my um, My bread and butter, I guess. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. Um, I, I'm gonna take a run up here and uh, Head up to this tributary. It's a couple miles up from the boat ramp and uh, see if I can keen on some 
some warmer water, see what it's looking like up there, and then I'll fine tune that a little bit and I'll show you that along the way as far as depth, um, structure, and uh, little variables in the water temperature. They all kind of play together to, uh, to get into some of this action here. So anyway, um, yeah, we'll get headed up the river and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so right now we're sitting in about six feet of water, and uh, as you can see, it's about 47, pushing 48 degrees. So it's still pretty cold for uh, for catfishing. Um, it is nice out today, though. Air temp is uh, in the 60s, so I got fish jumping all around. It's uh, it's just one of those days everybody's ready for spring. Fish, wildlife, me, everybody. So uh, this is what I'm in. I'm uh, sitting in about six feet right now. And um, what I've got here is I'm uh, I'm fishing tight up to the bank here, and I'm anchored up just in front of this uh, this snag here, this blown down tree. And uh, what I'll do is I'll spread a couple of baits out here, um, one up in here where there's a little less current, and then one out on the tip. That seems to be where the more active ones hold. And so uh, I'll pull, you know, if they're biting in here, if I can, you know, get some out of here, I'll pull a couple out of here, and then I'm going to head on. I'm not going to bother to keep fishing this. Um, there's not going to be a lot of fish stacked up in here, a lot of active ones anyway. So uh, that's what I'll do is I will just, uh, I guess, kind of get the, you know, the biters right away and not waste my time. I could sit here another half hour, hour waiting for more fish, but... Might as well just go up the river two minutes and uh, get right into a couple more. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to see if I can get a couple out of this hole, um, get some baits cast out here, and uh, see what we can get. All right, guys, another fish on here. Well, they sure got some fight to them for this pool of water. We're in about the uh, upper 40s, about 48, 49 degrees water temp. It's actually nice out. The uh, air temp's about 60, so anyway, this guy's got some fight to him today for uh, for how cold this water is. Wow, got to get my arm back in shape after uh, fighting those little trout all winter. There he goes. Coming in. I don't got too much current up in here, so it's pretty much all fight here. Yeah, another decent one here. Probably about seven, eight pounds. That's not bad. Generally, this uh, time of year, early in the season, you get into some of these bigger ones, the decent size ones. You're not running into those uh, those little two, three pounders as much. So this one's a little bit better than the better than the last one we caught. It. You don't want to come in the boat. Yeah, not bad. I guess where this guy will probably go. Uh, this guy will probably go eight. What do you say? He's not bad. I can get him on scale, but uh, I don't really care if he weighs eight or seven. So all I care is uh, he put up a good fight for us. Here, let him go. Find another day. This is another uh, March catfish here. Early season, cold water, good action. No complaints. So I'm up here on this uh, tributary, um, came up about three quarters of a mile or so, um, 
just trying to dial these guys in here I've caught a few so far and uh, what I'm doing here I want to uh, be really specific about how I'm uh, going about locating these guys um, my method here is I typically don't carry an anchor um, I mean today I've got one uh, sometimes I just have it in the boat but most of the time as you can see I don't use it um, I tie up to an overhanging branch or something but I'm fishing uh, pretty close to shore here so you can do this from shore you don't have to have a boat um, you know you don't have to do anything fancy here but I'm fishing close to the shore and I'm hitting right above these snags that are sticking out in the water here and uh, that's what they're doing like I said these guys um, don't like current right now too much they need some to bring some food into them but uh, they they want as uh, little direct current as possible so uh, they'll tuck right in behind that uh, right in behind that snag there you know and just lay back in there and it diverts some of the water flow from them but still washes the food right up in there and the more active ones will come hang out along the face of here especially out on the tip where there's the most current and the food tends to wash right up in there so i'll always place a bait right out here on the tip and somewhere along this front face right in here so i'll, I'll spread a couple baits out here now i'm going to catch if there's fish in here i'm going to catch you know a couple couple three fish out of here and uh let me see i don't know if you can see really well but uh these uh little spots are a dime a dozen all the way down here and uh, this time of year you don't have to really key into the hole so you're not really searching for you know a super great hole to park yourself in fish are on the move and uh, they're just kind of running and gunning here uh, there's another one right across the way um, i will key in on certain depths they seem to be a little more productive um, you know right now they seem to be four to six feet today it's working out great and uh, so that's what I'm uh, fine-tuning here um, caught several fish in that uh, depth range and like I said fishing in front of these um, they tend today to prefer the moderate current flow I've got a little bit of current flow coming in here um, I've noticed on where I don't got too much current um, not as much action too much current and no action so this seems to be the uh, method to the madness today and like I said this is kind of the core of uh, my system here and like I said that's gonna I'm gonna wrap up this locating um, how to locate these guys right now I just want to summarize you know you need to find some water that is um, off the main river a little bit or even if it's on the main river it needs to be um, it needs to be uh, uh, just something that uh, is, is kind of that stands out a little bit as far as uh, uh, water flow temperature things like that so if it's a, a back channel a slough um, a tributary whatever that is something these guys want to get out of the river just a little bit you know get some get some energy packed on and uh, prefer a little bit of water, uh, warmer water temperature so that's what I'm uh, that's what we're doing today and we're up in a tributary and like I said, I'm, I'm just kind of running and gunning. I want to dial this in, see what they're biting on. Uh, that's my proven method here. And uh, I always have a, what lies at the core of that is the way I fish. And that is close to tight to the bank, um, right in front of these blowdowns, these snags. The bigger, better the snag and the older, like this one's bleached out here, um, the uh, better. They uh, really like those. So, and if it's close into a, a nice cut bank, uh, seems to be all the more better still so that's what I'm doing um, as far as location goes so this is how I do it and I'll get in here to a uh, little bit of presentation and uh, you know tackle things like that so and hopefully get a few more fish here for you